has concealed himself. How do we identify the culprit now, you ask? Well, it is possible to recognize people by the way they walk, also known as their gait, which is simply the loading and unloading of people's limbs. To analyze one's gait, we could match our sample with pre-made shape templates and extract their features. These features could be static, such as height and stride length, or dynamic like angular motion of lower legs. Firstly, we need to extract the joint's positions by using Fourier series parametric representation of the curve representing the limbs. It can be done by first solving these two equations, where V's and V's can be approximated using the Riemann summation. After solving those equations, we could then formulate this equation, which can be further represented in its parametric form. Now, we only need five parameters to solve this equation, namely the SX, SY, A0, B0, and alpha. To get these parameters, we can use the Hopf transform. To reduce the number of possible sets of parameters available, we could use the stride length obtained earlier to limit the search space. Next, we need to find the gait vectors, the angles of one's hip, knees, and ankles. The vector includes both vertical and horizontal displacements derived from hip trajectories. To get the most distinctive gait features and improve the identification rate, we would also take the angle between the thighs. After getting all these data, we could then process and simplify them using the Fourier transform which simplifies complex data into summations of simple sine waves. We can finally construct the gate signature of the culprit by cross-multiplying the magnitude and phase of his gate. This signature is then classified through classification metrics and compared to the database. After doing all those steps, we finally have our culprit signature gate. We can now compare it to the gate signatures we have in our database. That's our culprit. Mario seems to have stolen Bulbasaur.